If you're a new content creator trying to pick between CapCut and Premiere Pro, you're probably wondering which one's actually worth using. One's free and super beginner-friendly, while the other is an industry standard with pro-level tools. If you're a newbie trying to pick between the two, don't worry, we've got you covered. So let's break it down and see which one fits your needs better. Getting into video editing software might be daunting at first. When it comes to choosing between CapCut and Premiere Pro, the user interface is a key factor, especially for new content creators. Here, these two bring something different to the table. CapCut is totally beginner-friendly, making it handy if you're editing quick social media videos. Its easy layout lets you jump right in and make edits fast. No need to worry about a ton of technical stuff. The timeline, for example, is straightforward and easy to navigate, allowing users to drag and drop clips with minimal effort. Basic tools like trimming, filters, and text are prominently placed, which makes it quick to add effects or make adjustments, perfect for quick editing. On the other hand, Premiere Pro is like the pro's choice. It's packed with features, but it's more complex. You'll need to learn a bit more about editing techniques, and it can be a bit tough for beginners. It has some advanced features like a customizable workspace and multiple panels, such as the program monitor, timeline, and audio mixer. These panels allow for more detailed editing, like adjusting color grades or working with multi-camera setups, but the steep learning curve can be challenging for new users. If we are talking about the learning curve, there is a big difference. CapCut is simple to pick up and ideal for beginners allowing fast editing, whereas Adobe Premiere Pro has a more complex learning curve but provides advanced tools for professional-level editing. Choosing the right software depends on your content, whether it's quick social media clips or pro-level videos. Next up is Effects and Filters. CapCut's range of effects is somewhat limited, focusing mostly on trendy filters and fun, flashy enhancements. It's great for TikTok-style videos or quick edits for social media. Meanwhile, Premiere Pro has a vast collection of professional-grade effects that go beyond just visual aesthetics like sound design, advanced color grading, and custom motion graphics. CapCut keeps things simple with a fun variety, with a trendy selection for quick, eye-catching edits. Whether you're adding a VHS filter for that vintage throwback vibe, this effect brings an old-school feel to your videos by mimicking the look of footage from old VHS tapes. These effects can add a sense of nostalgia and give your videos a more textured, imperfect feel. Using them helps create a distinct, retro aesthetic that can make your content feel different from the clean, polished style typical of modern digital videos, giving it more character and depth. Also, CapCut's glitch effect is widely loved for giving videos a fresh, modern twist. You can use a glitch effect to amp up the energy. CapCut makes it super easy with its intuitive UI, letting you drag and drop enhancements in seconds. However, if you're looking to dive deeper into complex projects, you might find its options a bit limiting. In contrast, Adobe Premiere Pro offers an incredibly vast array of effects and transitions, giving you complete creative control. From the powerful Lumetri Color tool for expert-level color grading to sleek, customizable transitions, Premiere Pro's library is a treasure chest for content creators who want to take their edits to a pro level. Its intuitive timeline lets you fine-tune every detail with precision, making it the go-to choice for anyone aiming for a professional finish. So, if you're into trendy filters and quick edits, CapCut's perfect for you. But if you want more advanced features, Premiere Pro is the way to go. CapCut is designed for quick, simple edits, while Premiere Pro is built for professionals with its robust, advanced features. Let's explore their editing capabilities in more detail. CapCut is the tool for fast, hassle-free edits, perfect for social media content creators who want eye-catching videos without spending hours tweaking settings. If you need to trim a clip, add some trendy effects, or remove a background with a single tap, CapCut makes it effortless with its AI-powered tools, Features like auto captions and speed adjustments mean you can churn out polished videos in minutes, making it ideal for TikToks, Reels, and short-form content. But if you're after Hollywood-level precision, Premiere Pro is where the real magic happens. This powerhouse software gives you frame-by-frame -frame control, allowing for seamless multi-camera editing, 
professional-grade color grading and next-level audio enhancements. Imagine cutting between different angles of a documentary, fine-tuning shadows and highlights for a cinematic look, or tracking a moving object with pinpoint accuracy. Premiere Pro is built for projects that demand perfection. While CapCut thrives on simplicity, Premiere Pro is designed for deep storytelling and intricate edits. Whether you're making a quick viral clip or a full-scale production, your choice of software can make all the difference. Mobile editing has made it easier for creators to make content on the go, and CapCut Pro has become a preferable choice for those who want to create high-quality videos anywhere. Designed for ease and efficiency, CapCut Pro allows you to edit videos directly on your phone with a simple user-friendly interface. You can easily trim clips, add filters, and apply effects, all in just a few taps. Plus, if you're working on a TikTok video on your phone, you can pick up right where you left off on your desktop to fine-tune it before posting. Premiere Pro, on the other hand, offers its own mobile editing app called Premiere Rush, which comes with basic editing tools like trimming, cutting, and color correction. While it's not as feature-rich as the desktop version of Premiere Pro, Premiere Rush does allow for some flexibility on the go, making it a decent option for quick edits when you don't have access to your computer. For example, you can shoot a quick vlog on your phone, edit it using Premiere Rush, and then share it directly to YouTube or Instagram. However, unlike CapCut, Premiere Rush lacks the same speed and ease when it comes to creative editing for social media, especially with features like the instant access to popular sounds and music that CapCut offers for TikTok or Instagram Reels. So if you're a Premiere Pro user and just need some basic edits on your phone, Premiere Rush does the job. But when it comes to flexibility, ease of use, and speed, CapCut Pro is the one to beat for mobile editing. Features at the forefront, CapCut and Adobe Premiere Pro provide tools that take the heavy lifting out of video editing. CapCut uses AI-powered tools that handle tasks like background removal or automatic captions, saving time while helping you create content. It utilizes AI to automate many editing tasks, making it kind of easy for users to create professional-looking content with minimal effort. For example, its auto-caption feature uses AI to transcribe speech to text in real time, saving time on manual captioning. It also offers automated effects and transitions, letting users apply them with a single click. However, Adobe Premiere Pro offers more advanced AI tools, especially through its Adobe Sensei technology. This includes features like Auto Reframe, which automatically adjusts the aspect ratio of a video to fit different social media platforms, or Scene Edit Detection, where the software automatically detects cuts and edits in a video. Premiere Pro also offers AI-driven color grading and audio adjustments, allowing more experienced editors to fine-tune their work with ease. While both tools use AI to speed up the editing process, CapCut is designed for simplicity, whereas Premiere Pro offers more control and advanced features for professional editors. CapCut and Adobe Premiere Pro offer different levels of collaboration, addressing distinct user needs. It allows easy sharing of projects, enabling team members to collaborate by making real-time edits. You can sync projects across devices, making it convenient for users working on the go, and share templates for consistent video styles. However, while CapCut's collaboration is effective for basic tasks, it lacks the depth and professional features found in more advanced software. On the other hand, Adobe Premiere Pro is designed for professionals and offers advanced collaboration tools suitable for large teams working on high-end projects. Its Team Projects feature allows multiple users to edit a project simultaneously in the cloud, making it perfect for remote teams. Premiere Pro supports complex workflows, enabling editors to work on video, audio, and effects simultaneously with seamless integration with other Adobe tools like After Effects and Audition. Additionally, Adobe's cloud storage and shared asset libraries provide a central hub for team members to access and use the same assets, streamlining collaboration. While CapCut is great for quick mobile-centric projects, Premiere Pro excels in offering a robust, professional-level collaboration experience for larger teams working on complex projects. The choice between the two ultimately depends on the project's scale and the required level of editing sophistication. 
At the end of the day, both CapCut and Premiere Pro are great in their own way. If you love quick, no-fuss editing, CapCut can be your best bet. But if you're looking to master pro-level edits and go all-in, Premiere Pro is where it's at. No wrong choices here, just pick what works for you. If you're already using one of these, drop a comment below and let us know which one's your go-to. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.